Right, so I'm going to show you how to consume the results of a REST service in Oracle Application Builder Cloud Service um, with the new version that was released in May. So this is um, the results of a REST service from GitHub that returns all the projects that Oracle uh, is an owner of. Okay? And you can see the URL for this over here. So let's copy this URL okay, and go into Application Builder Cloud Service and we're going to show you that you can now go into application setting extensions and over here there's a place where you can create a business object provider and we're going to create a new one we're going to call it git and let's call it my git you can also add an image and a description and then there's a bunch of templates that you can uh, start from um, some of them are more complex I'm going to use the last one which is a basic read-only uh, access type of REST service. So you get this um, place where you can set properties and then in the source tab you can actually see the files that are involved. And there are basically three files here and the operation one actually has a base URL which is the URL to your REST service. So over here we're going to paste the URL for our REST service. Okay. And then there's a bunch of other um, methods in here that you can modify in terms of how you actually um, work with the URL and get the data and do things like that. Then uh, we're going to save the data and then we're going to go into the REST entity provider. Okay. And over here you actually have the definition of the objects that you're creating. Now by default it uses something called user and um, we're going to call it a repository. Um, plural name can be repositories okay and then over here a list of repositories okay then you have a bunch of um, attributes okay um, so if you look again at our uh, rest results um, one of the properties up here you see that it's ID that's good we have a name we have a full name uh, maybe something else. Let's use the HTML URL here. Okay, so we'll copy this one and then we'll take this property because there's ID and name that are already here. We'll use the HTML URL. We'll call this the URL and this is actually you can set it as type URL because this is actually what it is. Um, another property that you can see here is maybe we'll take a number based property okay, maybe the size copy the size over and go over here set this property to be size and title can be size and type would be number okay and there's documentation about those in our JavaScript API guide okay about the data types but it's pretty self-explanatory okay and um, so that's basically it now you can go back into your data designer and under services if you click add service and you wait a second you'll see the git management uh, option in here okay and um, this one is by the way coming from another application right so we're going to pick the git okay this inspects our structure and finds out oh there's an object called repository so we're going to pick this one up then you can see the list of the fields, so we're going to drag over the fields that are of interest to us over here. And by the way, you can further customize them here if you want to. If you have any security aspects that you need to define, you can define them here. This service doesn't require security, so we we'll just keep it none. And then in the test, if you actually click on your object, we'll actually go over and fetch the information from the REST URL, and you'll get the information you wanted. Okay, so now you can click finish. Okay, so you got your service defined, which means that now if you go into your page designer, you'll be able to use it. So let's go, for example, into the projects page and drag over a table. And now we can connect it to the repository object. We'll be able to choose a function that fetches the data. 
Okay, we'll see the fields. We can move them over here and get us a little table that shows us the information about our repositories. You can actually see the live data in here. You can also use this in other places. For example, let's uh, say you have this um, place where you can create employees and assign them to various projects. So if we run this, we can create an employee called Shai. You can say he's a developer, for example. Okay. And then maybe we want to be able to uh, assign Shai to a specific project. So to do that, I'm going to go back, click on the column, and define an action on it. For example, we can say this goes to the edit page for an employee. Okay. And then when we run this, and we click on Shy, we go to the edit page for an employee. And then we can say, okay, we need a new field here, and this field can be a list of value. So we'll drop it here. And we're going to say this is actually coming from the repository object and we're going to pick up the name of the project okay? and we'll call it uh, assigned to okay? so that's the name of the field in our new object and it refers to a link to the repository object and the name right? so now if we run this we can say Shai is now assigned to the ATG build tool project save and close okay? or we can later go in okay, let's remove this and say okay we're switching him to work on the Dynodate project. So this is it. This is how easy it is to get data from a REST service, uh, show it inside your ABCS, use it in other objects as a reference, and um, it's very simple with the latest release of Application Builder Cloud Service. Have fun!